You guys, Aaron here, just a quick announcement for you. I'm going to be giving another free online presentation. This is going to be on Wednesday, May 11th at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Now, this presentation is going to be on a very delicate topic. That is mental health, the connection between mental health and astrology. Now, this is something that's been studied and researched and put into practice for thousands upon thousands of years. And it's actually hyper logical. Personally, I feel like if every therapist and psychologist, anybody who works in the field of mental health, if they knew just the basics of astrology, it would be massively beneficial to them. Now, I completely understand that not everybody knows about astrology. Most people don't even know what a natal chart is. And that said, I'm going to simplify this presentation in a huge way for you guys. You don't have to know anything about astrology to attend this presentation, but I will definitely be leaving some golden nuggets for those of you who have been you know, studying astrology for a little while. I want to make this so that anybody who watches it can benefit from it. Now, just to give you a little example here out of the many, many examples that I could use. This is just one that I tend to be getting a lot of a client, a lot of clients that are going through this right now. The moon in astrology rules our emotions and where the moon was, what zodiac sign the moon was in when you were born is going to say a lot about how you handle your emotions. And it just so happens that the sign of Taurus is the most stable and grounded energy out of the zodiac. Not to suggest it just because you're a Taurus, it means you're super grounded and stable because there's so much more to the natal chart. But generally speaking, people who have their natal moon in the sign of Taurus happen, tend to have these really grounded and stable emotions, even in traumatic situations. But as of right now, up in the sky, Uranus is transiting through the sign of Taurus. It's actually at 14 degrees Taurus. If you've got your natal moon at 14 degrees Taurus, and then all of a sudden transiting, meaning up in the sky, Uranus is coming along and basically sitting right on top of your natal moon, this is what happens. Uranus influences disrupt disruptive energy and spasmatic energy. It's very uh, like almost electrical type of energy. And so these people, again, I've been getting a lot of new clients coming in from that have this experience right now. They can all of a sudden, you know, they've been their whole life with the very grounded and stable emotions. And all of a sudden they're easily triggered. Their emotions are super disrupted right now. That's not to suggest that just because you have your moon at 14 degrees, Taurus means you're having some sort of a mental breakdown right now, but you certainly could be. And the best part about this is that there's all kinds of little remedies and antidotes that I will be offering as well with this presentation. Now, that's just one example. I mean, uh, for the houses that if you've got a ton of energy going through your 12th house in your natal chart, that's the house of mental health that definitely could be triggering some stuff. I'm going to be talking about the difference between a depression, anxiety, somebody who's easily angered, that sort of thing. And I'm going to break this all down for you in a very simple format. So if you would like to attend this presentation, you do need to sign up. I will leave a link, but you just got to go to East West books.org backslash events. You'll see all the wonderful events that East West offers. They've got some really good presenters on there, some really knowledgeable people, but you will see mine near the top as it is coming up just around the corner here on May 11th. Now, here's another little gem for you. If you sign up for the presentation, I will offer you a 15% discount for your next astrology reading. It really means a lot to me when people show up for these things and they want to learn. And that's why I offer those discounts for people who attend the presentation. Now, one more thing. If you can't make the actual presentation, if you can't be there at 7 p.m. Pacific time on May 11th, they, you will receive an email of a recording of the presentation. So you can watch it at your own time whenever you want. Uh, and I will still offer you that 15% discount. But the best, if you do actually attend the presentation, the best part is I always leave room for questions at the end. I love answering people's questions. So that's probably the best part if you can actually attend the, the actual live presentation. So I really hope to see some of you there. Again, I'll leave links either in the comment section or you know description section, depending on where you're seeing this recording. But do go to East westbooks.org backslash events. Okay, guys, again, I do hope to see some of you there.